All right, welcome back to another episode of Notes from Home. So my good friend Adon came down from Kentucky and he's helping me this weekend. That's Mr. Adon. He wants to give a shout out to his parents yeah. down in Monterey. Yeah. What's up, Mama? Yes, yeah, so let's say hello. Madre, Padre. Okay. <laughs> so what we're doing, if you saw any previous stuff, I made a big mistake. I've painted vinyl before with a good acrylic paint. I've painted it white and it's worked out. Well, I painted this stuff dark. It was a no-go. The stuff started warping and twisting within a few days. So Adon was nice enough. Um, I say nice enough. I'm paying him good money. Ain't that right? Uh, I pay yes, good money, but uh, <laughs> he's not doing it for free. But I will buy him a fajita tonight. <laughs> we'll buy yes, him yes, sir. Yes, that's it. Yes, sir. that's it. Paycheck. We are taking this vinyl down. He, in a matter of I don't know two, two hours, yeah. got all the vinyl off. We had to get rid of some nails. Now we're gonna go over it and we're gonna do a board and batten treatment. So the truth about us painting the vinyl black and it warping was a mistake, but it was really what I like to call a happy accident because we always wanted to eventually put board and batten on the back of this house. We knew that we would have the vinyl siding for a couple years, but because we made this mistake, it kind of sped the process up and I'm kind of happy about that. So we were forced to do board and batten, which is a which is a good thing. Now actually installing the board and batten is not that difficult, but the pre-planning is. There is a lot of planning that goes into board and batten. We used four by eight panels of hardy board and we had to make sure that they lined up exactly where the vertical studs were um, every 48 inches. And so we kind of had to figure out where the batten was going to be. And we didn't want it to be off center from the doors and we didn't want the batten to match up exactly to the trim. So there was a lot of discussion going on between Cy and I about exactly how we were going to put up this board and batten. Huh. Let me see. Maybe at the level. Let me see at your level. I think. Oh, senor! His stomach go! <laughs> His stomach go! So this is day two and we're making some progress. It's very hot, so it makes it a little difficult. But we're getting, um, we got most of the hardy panel on and um, it was a little tricky because the way they built these exterior walls, we're having to do it a little bit different. But um, we're gonna start getting up, or we are starting to get up some of the one by six and one by four trim on the corners and on the bottom and the top. And then we'll start putting up some batten, which we're going to use uh, one by threes. So we'll get uh, get going, and hopefully have some progress to show you later. started to look so good you guys I was loving the way it was turning out and we will be painting the board and batten black as well just like we did the siding but this time it won't warp thank goodness so we're gonna have board and batten it's gonna be painted black and for the mother-in-law suite I wanted to have a brown door and I wanted it to match the front doors so we got the exact Pella wood doors that we ordered from Lowe's it's a custom order and it really ties the front of the house to the back of the house and I think that that wooden door is going to stand out perfectly against the beautiful black board and batten. And to say I was excited about how it was all coming together was quite the understatement. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. 
I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. Oh yeah. Hey friends, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Notes From Home and I hope you've enjoyed watching all of these changes that we've been making on our house. And Cy and I have been cooking up some more changes to the brick part of our house that's gonna be coming up in the next episode. So make sure you don't miss it. And if you subscribe to this channel and click that little bell, you will get a notification when our next video goes live. So feel free to like and comment and leave any questions that you may have and we'll get back to you. And also, if you don't already follow me over on Instagram, I would love for you to join me over there at Beneath My Heart where we share daily Instagram stories about all that's going on with our home renovation. Until next time, we will see you. What am I, no. What did I say right there at the end? Until next time. Until next time. Until next time, <laughs> what do you say? We'll see you next time on Notes From Home.